So there's a trending topic on social media, especially on Twitter. Uh, Nigerian tweeters, or tweets they call them now, knocked um, the RCCG pastor Adeboye's son, Leke Adeboye, over the statement he said, where he said, I have made my first million selling wristbands. Many Nigerians came for him saying that he only took advantage of the church. He went to sell wristbands in RCCG. Many of us have it. I have a few in my house too, <laughs> you know. And uh, then it was almost like a... It was like something every 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 human must have, you know. Mm. But he said he made his first million when selling wristbands, and many tweeters, uh, tweets went for him saying that, oh, um, I believe it's those uh, wristbands he, that he sold, and that, that's how he made it. That he ripped off people, like just took advantage of his father's church, and then it brings back the hypocrisy of many Nigerians. Sometimes we take these issues because we need to highlight some areas where Nigerians um, forget. <coughs> that they, they pick and choose where they see uh, somebody is, they feel that somebody is taking advantage, or somebody is make, taking advantage of the church in some way. Um, what are your thoughts on this? Do you, do you agree with the tweeters, or do you agree, do you feel that he, he made an honest business of an opportunity he had? What are your thoughts on this? You can call us on 091-390-76948. You can also call us on 0812-70-53687. Tweet to us at TVC, can I please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. BC, let me start with you. <laughs> Nigerians, make with a calm down. <laughs> it's calm down. It's not that difficult. We always, uh, you know, preach that people should do honest work. Yeah. You know, not steal, not cheat, not lie. But if you find your hands doing something honest, are we not upset that you make money from it? We have Nigerians who travel. Some people just went to Mecca now. I'm sure they will buy. Complimentaries. Yeah, yeah they, they are called complimentaries. I had a family member that went to um, uh, Israel. When he got back, he kept narrating, hey, this, 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 that place has become a tourist attraction. Oh, these people are making billions yearly. Yeah. Everybody was buying. They bought sand. They bought olive oil. They bought the sea water. There was nothing they did not bring home. Back, so everything, you know, this is where Jesus died. Commercialized. It commercialized. And it's business. They are not ripping you off. They will always say, do you want to have this? Do you want to have that? Do you, this would actually work. It's, it's marketing. You are either convinced or not. So why are we upset now that somebody is selling wristband and making money out of it when you will go and buy some other things because it's from another person's country and it's not a ripoff for you. So we should stop picking and choosing and yeah. you know castigating people for doing honest work. If you walk into a place and then they they put hand in your pocket and collect your money or and your you demand, you, or must demand you must have it before you attain certain we understand, but this is, I'm selling this, so you love to. We buy Bible, don't we? And some people will say, ah, because it's um, for God, there shouldn't be a price tag to it. Biko, did they steal it? Mm. It was manufactured. Mm. Money was spent to manufacture it. Money will be made to right. sell it. Right. So why are we upset? So, okay, go ahead, let me talk about So there was a time in the Bible where Jesus was upset. You know, it was one of the places where Jesus got angry mm. and he drove all the traders and money lenders and all of them out of the temple because we are now losing focus on what the temple was meant for. Um, I think that really people, those are spiritual people should be discerning enough to know what is a distraction. And it, is, it shouldn't be a whole um, pastor's son, that is Gio's son that would be one of those that will be um, seen profiting from the weaknesses of human beings. Hmm. It should be, the focus should be drawing attention to who is the most important. Mm. When Jesus came, which we are supposed to be Christians, Christ-like, he took attention from all these sacrifices, all these things that you are doing, you are changing money, you are buying dove, you are buying that. Focus on the God that you are there to serve. Seek the knowledge, read the scriptures, Sit and hear. Don't be. He, he told. Um, uh, it was a story of um, the two sisters. I'm trying to remember their name. And one person sat down to learn. Another person yeah, was Mary Amman. Mary Amata. And somebody. Um, um, somebody was running around. I said, "See, this person sitting down to hear is more, more important." So I would expect that in, from that lineage of spirituality, the idea should not be selling artifacts. You, if you go to Israel, the Israelites are not forming Christianity. People of Israeli are not saying that they are, they're never calling themselves Israeli, they're saying Israeli, they're not calling themselves that they are forming Christianity or anything. They are telling you, they know your weakness, they know you want artifacts, they know you want to feel an emotional attachment to the fact that you visited a, a, the holy land, quote and unquote, and so they will sell you things. But it shouldn't happen 
within the church by someone but, in the church. But, but, the but, wrist, you know, we have this wristband. People have rosaries. Some people sell holy water. People make billions from holy water. Mm -hmm. That's water that somebody prayed on. Mm -hmm. The same mouth you can use to pray. Uh, you will not use to buy yeah. olive oil. Is the, I don't want to call the brand. There was that, um, I went, to, I grew up in a white government church. We all know one yellow bottle like this, of which is not original <laughs> olive oil. Because real olive oil is in a green bottle. Yeah. But we all bought that yellow bottle and we're anointing our head every day, every night. Yes, they are faith extenders and it's valid. At a point in my, my parents' white government church, they had to say people should bring their own water. There's no, there's nothing called holy water. The water, the, the holiness comes from your faith. Attached to the fact that you believe that God is going to do a miracle with that faith extender. Okay, Tokwe, we all somewhat benefit from where we are. Yeah. Because everybody works in various companies. People sell plantain chips in this company. They are not, their job is not a plantain, plantain chip. chip. <laughs> they, they have, but they see there's a number here. <laughs> and I will sell plantain chips here. Um, you, you work, um, you, you're in, you're, you're in the, you're in the hub. Um, estate, church. Uh, church, in yeah. church, yeah. the opportunities you sell, you have yeah. sold to one real estate, to one yes. or two in church. People want to meet the needs so, per time. Yeah, so of they, there are always needs. So yeah. if I if I if I see a wristband mm. and I put oh my name on the wristband, mm. and somebody in my church sees it, yeah, I like that wristband. Oh, please, can you can, can you make me one? It's now is it now a crime? You. Before you know it, somebody else yeah, that's the wristband that you are holding. Look, can I have it? Mm -hmm. And suddenly, because you're pastor's son now. Mm -hmm. You cannot duplicate that wristband and say, okay, this department said they want it, let me mm -hmm. give to them. If, uh, it now becomes a crime. If, so, yeah, so, it so, crime. You could, so, you could, so you could have started not, the idea was <coughs> let me sell to the church. You could have started for maybe, I sell it for my house fellowship. They wanted it. From house fellowship, somebody now said they wanted it in the department. From the department, oh, church pastor now saw it. Like, ah, do more for us now. Mm -hmm. Then gradually, do more for the choir. Church. So why would you therefore blame somebody for taking advantage of uh, something he had pers personally and then decided to sell to a larger group? So I don't even think it's about taking advantage. First of all, in that church, they preach Christ, don't they? Mm. Don't they preach Christ? They do. Have they told you to come and do any form of sacrifice? No. But we know that human beings always want to be affiliated to something. Mm -hmm. They want to distinguish themselves. So I'm a redeemer, for instance. I should have something that shows I'm a redeemer. I did a gold necklace that had my name on it, mm -hmm. uh, BC. You know, I just wait for you to know that it is me. People do necklaces that, you know, show their business or whatever. It's just a way that human beings affiliate with certain things. Yeah. And it is not a crime in any way. If this is now what um, they tell you to do for you to have access to God or for your miracles to uh, 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 be given to you or for you to have, to yeah, to manifest your prayers and all of that, then it becomes a problem. But if it's just a keepsake, we travel. I travel all, all around the world. And when I go to a place like, uh, if you come to my refrigerator now, you I see, have yes, you see the countries <laughs> that I have been to. It's a keepsake. Mm. It's something that shows that, ah, I've been to Singapore. Mm. Oh, I've been to Maldives. Mm. It's what we do as mm. human beings. Mm. And I don't see any problem in that. He was giving an example that, okay, for instance, you're thinking about Being what resourceful. to do, you know, look around your corner. Yeah. Where do you want him to start the business from? Yeah. From the, when from the mosque? So I, he was I, born I was, in church. I'm, I'm, I, like I, I was, let me, let's, so that we don't, it doesn't like, I'm not attacking um, Pastor Eliki um, um, Adeboi because I understand that we must be resourceful and I, I, and I appreciate resourcefulness. I'm just, my, my opinion is that because we understand, um, Paul said he didn't eat meat. You know, you, you, because there's some things that you know can be lawful, but it is not to be done by you. Because if, if my pastor, people usually ask uh, one, of my, one of my pastor to raise CDs. Um, he does that, but there's a big pastor that does not raise CDs because he knows that unless I have listened to this CD and I feel truly blessed or I've read this book, it will even be, if I do it for one, I have to do it for all. And people, because of their emotional attachment to who I am and what I represent, if I just say this is the phone you should start buying, everybody will go and flood and buy the phone. So I will not do it because I might be making somebody use their last cover to buy just because daddy has said it, um, Gio has said it or something. So there are some things that will be sacrificial just because of the position you stay in. It's like the way we, come, we say, because you become a politician, you must make sacrifices. When you become, there are things that you when, you, when you occupy a position, you will make some unusual sacrifice. You will see opportunity, but you know it can become like profiteering. You will not do it. Not that what he did is bad. <laughs> but another thing, there are people and their churches that will sell you handkerchief as a source of miracle. Yes, now mantle. Elijah they, used it. They so sell it <laughs> as a source of healing. Yes, mantle. And people will not buy it and take it abroad and say, Anna, boy, I'm So I am, I am faith. <laughs> if it works for you, it works for you. But well, they are selling you. miracles. Eh, eh. 
They are they did not buy the handkerchief. No, no, wait. Now they the went to the market and they collected the free of charge. They so will not sell what they this bought. This is where I stand. I will tell you, so bring your handkerchief. Buy your handkerchief. Uh, you bring it to church. Raise it up. What if you forgot your handkerchief at home? <laughs> Somebody must sell handkerchief for you. Know. Just, do you know how many times you go to church and you forget your anointing oil in see the house? The face Somebody mask. must sell So see the face mask issue. Yes, you are going to supermarket. You forget your face mask. There are people standing on the road. I'm telling you. To help your kids. Exactly. There are people can be, but if it is now the pastor's son or the pastor's wife no, no, that no, no. now opened a shop at the gate wait, 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 I'm and is selling mantle, they will not look at you and Talk be like, about ah, the hypocrisy. Ah. That's why hypocrisy. Yes, yeah, so Nigerians are hypocrites. Religion and the Christian will stay with us <laughs> right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.